who is Max Romeo? Well, Max Romeo is a simple, simple raster man, inspired. 50 years in the music business, still going strong, still touring, still writing, still recording. And um, basically, Max Romeo is a pseudonym. My real name is Max Smith. You see, Max Romeo is an assumed name. Is that, that's my entertainment name, really. And um, it, I think it's known all over the world so far. Yeah. In terms of hit songs, uh, if I remember correctly, you had hit songs before a lot of these up-and-coming new artists. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, mention a few of your um, most uh, more famous hits, like when you were... You worked at Island Records. I worked with Island Records. Um, could you name a couple of the songs in that period of time? Well, I did two albums released by Island Records. First one was Warren of Babylon, and another one called um, Revelation Time. Um, these two albums... Uh, Warner Babylon was the better of the two. Yes, sir. You know, um, Warner was Babylon was a really big hit, yeah. too, at the time. Yeah, man. And uh, I'm thinking, we can edit this out uh, while I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to put on an iron shirt. And, uh, was that you? That's my song. That's a truck yeah. from Warner Babylon. Oh, OK, OK. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So the two big songs from Warner Babylon was Warner Babylon. Well, you got, it's more than two. You got Warner Babylon, you got One Step Forward, oh, which was another step, big one song. One Step Forward, One Step Backward. Yes, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. there was a big one from it in New York called uh, Norman the Gambler. And uh, yeah, I'm rocking that was, that was a big one in New York. And then Chase the Devil, you know, Iron Shirt. Oh, Church, that's Iron Shirt. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's, Chase that's, the yeah, Devil. So three. It's quite a few hit songs come from that album, I would say. So you, You've been in the business like how long? Fifty. Fifty years. It's twenty fourteen. Make fifty years. I'm in the business. So basically, you were in the business before, even say Bob Marley or Peter Tosh. Or well, before. Or maybe at the same time. Well, yeah. I think Bob was in it before me as the Whalers, not as Bob Marley, but oh, as okay. the Whalers. You know, Bob Marley came later on as a solo artist, but it's normally the Whalers was with. I was with a group called Emotions. So basically, most, most of us as lead singers started out singing with, with groups and then branched off on our own. Oh, OK. I, I mean, like the, the Mighty Diamonds, Tabby is now on his own. Mm -hmm. uh, Hep Leroy Sibbles. That's somewhere. the way it is. Yeah. Metal, Toots went on his own. Toots, so. uh, yeah. yeah. It's a drifter's type of situation. You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know. Um, are you still touring? Yeah, still touring. Do you, do you ever come to Europe? That's my, uh, Europe is my stomping ground. <laughs> That's my stronghold. The whole continent. <laughs> uh, when when just some, just my information. When were you last in Europe? Um, September. I was up to November. I was in Europe last year. Last year. Yeah. Ah. I came to rest. You now my rest period is up, so I'll begin the 20, 25th of May. I'll be out there right back till September again. You back? You back? You in back Europe. on the road? Yeah. Ah, okay. Now, do you take a band with you from Jamaica, or do you use foreign musicians? No, my band based in in London. Make it easier for me. They are Jamaican musicians, but they live in London. So, so they're already on the continent. They're already on the continent. You know. Yeah. Where do you see? We, we, we know where reggae music is coming from, mm -hmm. and we, know, we have an idea of where it's at now. Mm -hmm. Which do you think is the better of the two, where the music is at now, or the music that um, you put together as the originators of this, this sound that we now call reggae? Uh, I think, I would say, in the beginning, you know, things were, were, were a little easier, there were more productive uh, uh, capability. There were more you know, people could, you know, actually put songs together. There was a lot of things to sing about then, I would say. You know, creativity was at a peak. Um, because even today, they still have to go back to the 60s music to sample bass lines and pattern from half or things from way back when, even now. So I would say, in them days, 60s, 70s, I've seen you know, the 
the best of Jamaican music so far. And most of the musicians, from what I've heard at the time, mm -hmm. weren't actually tutored or trained musicians. They, they used to just pick up an instrument and keep no. doing it until they got it right. No, if you go to music school, you never play reggae. <laughs> <laughs> reggae is a vibe music. You don't play it off paper. It doesn't match up, you know. <laughs> from, you, you play it from comes the from the heart, from the feeling, you know. That's, where, that's what makes it so dynamic. It comes from the person, not off paper. Mm -hmm. May I ask you a question? Oh, sure, yeah. sure. I'm curious, you say uh, you had the topics uh, mm -hmm. that you wrote about mm -hmm. uh, before, more than, than today. Mm -hmm. What were the biggest issues that were so you know important to write about? Uh, we still have the issues, the, the social issues, you know, price rising out of the reach of salaries and things like those. But in them days, uh, you could get away with it. It's a very risky situation now to criticize. You can lose your life for criticizing, you know, so people just have to keep it to yourself and, you know, murmur to your friends when you, when you meet, meet someplace, you know, you don't blur it out on record now. Now it's about sex and violence, you know. <laughs> 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 Why do you think that is? Why has it come to that you write about sex and violence today? Does it sound better? or? Yeah, because let's face it, negative, negative is more appreciative than positive now. You know, we live in a negative world. I mean, you talk about God, he's not here no more right now. You know, he's on vacation. It's the devil who's running things now. You know what I mean? So these satanic things have to be in the forefront. Righteous things are in the back burner now. You can be killed now to, for being too righteous. <laughs> um, for the Swedish uh, people mm -hmm. who have heard about you and heard about Jamaica, and I think would, they would like to come down to, to Jamaica, mm -hmm. if you were saying to them, to come to Jamaica, why would you, what would you tell them about Jamaica, why they should come to Jamaica as a destination? Beautiful country. Beautiful, warm, friendly people. Don't let them tell you otherwise. We are beautiful and warm and friendly. And um, if you can avoid paying attention to lip service and, and, and try to avoid you know, accentuating the, the negative and look on the positive sides, you, it's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with Jamaica. So you would say to the Swedish Come on home, yeah. Come on down. Come on down. Have a good time. Absolutely. Meet the girls, you know, drink our rum, smoke our herbs, and enjoy the atmosphere. You know, <laughs> my grandson. <laughs> yeah, you know, for real. Yeah. Um, uh, on behalf of the Swedish uh, documentary group that's here, mm -hmm. I'd like to say thank you so much, sir. It's a pleasure seeing you again. Charlotte. I haven't seen you in such a long time. All right. We need for so long and talk with you and I. I, <laughs> I, 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 I have yeah, yeah, for real. Yes. Can I, okay. I have two more questions, if it's OK? Uh, mm -hmm. Please do. Yeah? Here, let me just. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need the phone. <laughs> you need it. No. You, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you will stand here. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you have the box, too? Yes. Oh, OK, okay. cool. Yeah, man, we're on long sleeve sweater. What do you like today? All right, crazy. so... Yeah. <laughs> you don't mind the baby, do you? No, no, no. no, no, no it's no, natural, no, yeah. Not at all, okay. Not at all. So I was curious, uh, if you could just uh, tell us a little bit about your influences, about, you know, way back. Uh, it was, I, you know, the, the musical influences. Oh, huh? What were you, that you know, listening to? What were, in, you know, uh, big at the time that you... Here, listen to. I mean, you, you created something new here. Yeah. Basically, um, it was um, R&B, rhythm and blues, jazz, mento, and, um, you know, jitterbug and all these um, American-style music that was happening then. What happened now, reggae is, is, is basically caught between R&B and Trinidadian Calypso. You see, it's a blend of Calypso and R&B that make up the whole structure of reggae music. Mm -hmm. You see, so it's actually a spin-off 
Because what reggae is, mm -hmm. it's a spin off from R&B and Calypso. Mm. Mm. So, and, and how do you see, uh, because the reggae has changed, mm -hmm. you know, up, up until today, in the content, but also musically, how, how would you say it has changed? What are the influences today? It hasn't really changed much, you know, since Bob Marley. You know, it's the same roots and culture situation, you know, sing about current um, things that's happening and what have you. It, it basically, it's the same thing. It's the same beat. It's just that there are um, elements in the music that take it to, take it to, to different um, regions, you know, like the dance and music that basically indulge in, um, let's say, sex and violence, you know, is actually the main topic in, in dance and music. You know, and um, people gravitate to it as well. Like I say, negative sell more than positive in some cases. Mm. So right here you find a big sale for, for that form of negative. Mm. But reggae, roots reggae, it's always, you know, it's out there. It's been accepted all over the world, you know, by different nations and different cultures, mm. you know. It's just something about it because it's a cry of the poor. That's what it is. You know, it, it, it spells out suff suffering from 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 the poor people. Mm -hmm. And uh, all around the world, there are. Uh, I mean, even in Sweden, we do have a lot of. Uh, can you please? Um, come on. <laughs> Not now. Come. Soon. Soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, even in Sweden, we, we have a, a big community uh, producing reggae music. Uh, how would you, I mean, there are, they bring in influences, I guess. I mean, they have the, 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 the basic reggae uh, structures, but mm -hmm. I guess they, they also bring in their own culture in, in reggae. Yeah. Uh, how do you see that? I mean, today you have all different cultures producing reggae. Yeah, I think that's good for the reggae. It's good for music. Um, if I can get my, my culture to intertwine with, with, entwine with your culture, then it can only get bigger, you know. I dance to your music, you dance to mine. You know, I sell more, you sell more. I think it's great. I think um, Prodigy, an English group, did a version of Chase the Devil that actually opened up the whole thing. And you got Jay-Z did a version on his um, Black Album or something like that. And there's a lot of European groups who actually do cover of the music. And it only make it bigger. It's the anthem of Europe. You know, it plays on stations that reggae normally don't play on and things like that. So it comes a far way and it, it, it still have a far way to go, but we're getting there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah and, and also <clears throat> the reggae, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess the reggae music, uh, at least originally, has the, the a message which is very positive. Mm -hmm. You know, one love and, and peace and unity. Uh, do you think it? I mean, spreading reggae and more and more cultures uh, producing and bringing in their own uh, bits and pieces. How do you think that will affect? You know, this one and love message or one love message. I don't think it affects it in any negative way. I think it, it will only help to take it further, you know, spread the message further. I, I don't speak French or German, so if, uh, you have the French and the German who is actually doing the song in their language and getting the message across to their people. It works, you know, it works, and it will continue working like that, you know. All right. Okay. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, so yeah, we are trying to work out something here with, you know, mm. trying to do some uh, people from all different parts of, of the world producing mm -hmm. together and, you know, spreading mm -hmm. the, the message. That's, yeah. so that's really nice to, okay. for you to say that, yeah. Mm. So I think, uh, Peter, do you have anything that you want to know? <laughs> yeah, um, when creating music, Mm -hmm. uh, together here, you don't use that computer so much. No. Uh, you mm. play together. That's it. All right. Mm -hmm. can, and that, can you tell us a little bit about the, the creative process of Jamaica that made Jamaica one of the most outstanding musical country in the world? Well, 
Like I say, the heartbeat of reggae is in the bass and the drum. And basically that's where it starts. You know, I go into the studio, there's a group of musicians in there. I don't write, I don't write music, nor do I read music, but I can vibe music. So I go in and say, hey, I want you to play this line for me. Doom do 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 and he plays it. Then I tell the drum I want to beat keep his beat. And he catch the beat. So you blend them together and there we go. It's by the heart. It comes right from the heart. Right from the heart, not from the fingers. So in creating the best create, creative environment, you have to bring out the heart. It's all in the heart. And hearts have to be together in order to get that vibe. You know, it can't be one heart. It's the heart of the bass, tr bass player, the heart of the drummer, the heart of the guitarist, and the heart of the keyboard. And then the heart of the writer. Not necessarily the artist. You don't have to be there, but the writer. Then you put it on tape, and you play it, the artist, um, listen to it, and you do the song, and there you have a song. I'm the writer, he's a musician, and he's the artist. Money split three ways. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>